lesson is talking about how you can pay off your installment loans either at the end of the life of that loan or paying that loan off early. Now, if we pay that loan off early, there are some advantages because you have less interest to pay. So if you have the capabilities of paying any loan off early, you will always save yourself some money according to your interest schedule. So today we're gonna to be looking for final payments. And the final payments is the payment on the simple interest loan that consists of what is your balance from the previous month. And then you're going to add that on to your to that balance and calculate what your final payment will be. So even though you have a payment plan laid out, you have to figure out that final interest from that last month and add that on. So here are our lesson formulas. So our interest is still the same. We're gonna take our principal times our rate times our time. And then our final payment is made from the previous balance from the previous month and then you add the current month's interest. Then after that, we can actually calculate how much money we saved by paying that, that loan off early. The interest saved becomes what we should have paid back minus the previous payments and what our final payment would be. And that will show us how much money we actually saved. So let's get started. So in our first example, Jake's monthly payment on his loan for a quad is $175.60. So that's his calculated monthly payment for the life of his loan. His loan had a 12.5% interest rate and his balance on his principal at the end of the 11th month was $987.45. What would his final payment be if he wants to pay off the loan early? So we need to first calculate his interest on his previous balance. So if his previous balance was $987.45, I'm going to multiply that by his interest rate of 12.5% or 1.25 for the final month. So 1 out of 12 gives us our final month. When I calculate that, that gives me a total of $10.29. So that is what he owes on interest for the previous balance. So his final payment is going to consist of his previous balance plus the interest on that previous balance. So his final payment on the loan will be $997.74. So that will find him a cost savings of all of the interest he is yet to pay on that balance of the loan. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at concept check one from the book. If you want to pause the video and try this on your own and come back and check your work, that would probably make sure you're completing these problems correctly. So this is you plan to finance the purchase of an electric scooter with a 12-month 12, 12 loan at 12% interest. You have a balance of $816.04 after the fourth payment. What is the final payment if you pay off the loan with the fifth month? So the first thing I have to do is calculate the interest solely on that previous balance, which was $816.04. So we'll take that $816.04, multiply it by the interest rate for one month. That means what he owes just on his previous balance for one month is $8.16. So now we can calculate what his final payment will be. So his final payment again is what his previous payment was in addition to the interest from that previous balance. And that gives us a total of $824.20. That's his final payment. Now in our next concept check, it's going to ask us using the same information, how much money did we save? So it says, how much interest do you save if you pay off the loan with the fifth payment if your monthly payments were $106.56. So 
So what we're calculating in this problem is how much interest was saved. So if his monthly payment was $106.56 for 12 months, we need to calculate what he would have paid back for the loan if he kept the loan for the entire year. So we're going to start with that. We'll take $106.56 and multiply that by 12. That's going to give us $1,278.72. Now that's what he should be paying back for that scooter that originally cost $1,200. However, because he's paying it off early, he's going to save some money. So what we're going to do is calculate what he has already paid. So he made only four payments of $106.56. In addition to that, he had that final balance to be $824.20. So I'm going to add that into what is left from that loan. Then we will subtract that from what he was going to pay if he kept that loan out for 12 months. So if I do some quick calculations, 4 times 106.56 gives me $426.24. Adding that on to the final payment that we previously calculated, gives us $1,278.72 minus $1,250.44. That gives us interest saved of $28.28. So $28 doesn't seem like a lot for a loan that you're taking over one year, but if you were taking out a mortgage on your home over 30 years or a car payment over five or six years, you can see paying off that loan early will save you a lot of money in the end. So what these formulas do is it helps calculate how much interest you and how much money you save. All right, if you have any questions, please send me an email. Hope you have a great day.